lathe work and milling machine work. And again, this is just been the repair side mostly. And we do do job shop stuff here too. The uh, you know we can pretty much make any part you need for a spindle here. And we built entire spindles. What we don't build is stator rotors, motorized stuff. We stay away from like drawbar stuff. That's very very critical. You know, and it's, you just can't do that here. It's not even cost effective. But we can make shafts, housing, nuts, caps, spacers. You know, nuts and spacers, caps are pretty high wear item. You know, spacers a lot of times the bearings get loose, they spin, they wear the spacer away. You just can't keep grinding and grinding if you have to. Uh, you know, make new. You got to maintain your lengths there. And you know, typically, we'll get a damaged part. They'll go through inspection, they say, hey, we need this cap, we need this nut, shaft, whatever it is. It goes up to our engineering, we'll draw it up, send the print down, have it made. It's all done right here in house. We don't do heat treating and we don't do thread grinding. A lot of our threads are ground just to maintain the concentricity with the uh, with the shaft or housing. You know, again, it's very important as far as Everything being concentric, you know, if you have threads that are out, you lock and knot on, it'll bend the shaft. It's amazing, you could take a four inch diameter shaft, lock a knot on it, and bend it just from the threads. So it's all got to be dead on, and a nut has to be that way too. If you have a nut and the face is worn, it hits the bearings, it's junk. You got to throw it away. So, all being done in house is really you know, it's a huge advantage. And it works out for the customer too. If they need a wash, Hey, we can go out there any second. Say, uh, whatever you're working on, we need this done right now. We can do that. You know, outsourcing 